race fans, iRacing on dirt, Lanier Speedway in the Hero Soap Company, Street Stalker. Love Street Stock on dirt. Lanier is a great little dirt track in its dirt configuration. Dirt can be challenging though because you're not sure where everybody is at. Let's see how we do with 20 laps. Oh, I got a sandwich. And I got ran over. And that's the end of the race for me, pretty much. Wow. We'll get we'll get in and repair it and get back out there, but there you go. That can be street stock dirt racing. Don't even know where my pit is at this point. Was hoping for a really good race. I feel like I get around Lanier really well in the dirt car. I like it. It's a lot of fun. But there you go. Got sandwiched, and then a guy just rear-ended me. Going. And it says that I'm good to go. Must have been a quick repair. I'm probably going to get a black flag speeding on pit road and a dirt track. We'll let the field go by. I clipped the cone. Alright, let's get out here and just run the rest of the laps and finish this race out. I don't like just leaving a race for no reason. Oh, it's just so bad. I was running the infamous, famous number three. That's where it predicted I should finish in this race. I race it the way the system works out. But that's not to be the case. Whoa! Get it back up. Tap the brakes. Shift down. Keep on going. Oh, 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 oh. The 11 is having issues. Woo! Well, this has been a wild one. The last street stock dirt race I was in, that I can remember at least, it's been a while, was rather tame. This one's been a while. Well, we might come back! <laughs> With all the attrition that's going on. Now I feel like I can come back up a lane. The extremely low side here at Lanier and the Street Stalkers. I don't like it. It's just, I cannot get it to work. The car wants to turn too easily. It just seems to bog down and turn. 
Whereas if you're up in the middle to the high side, you can just kind of get it rotating and rolling around the corner and you keep your momentum up. Well, we've worked ourselves back to seventh. The spotter was not lying. Cars stopped ahead. I was looking for them. There they were. Sitting in the racing room. Brings me up to sixth. Got into turn one there all wrong. But it's okay. We're towards the end of the race and think a lot we're gonna improve our position at all. Matter of fact, boom, there's the checkered flag. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a wild one. It's still wild even after the race. Guy on his lid. Let's take a look at all the drama in this one. Green flag here at Lanier Dirt Configuration. I'm in the number three Gearhead Coffee Street Stalker. The nine does not get into one right. Messes up two for him. I get sandwiched on the back stretch by the one. I'm trying to regain control. The 11 doesn't see me, and he just dives into turn three and wipes me out. As you can see, the car is kind of dog tracking at this point. I'm trying to drive it. I've got to go down pit road and get this thing repaired to get back out there and, well, complete the 20 lap race, even though I might not finish that great. Back out, car repaired, trying to run down the eight, just making laps, learning the track, and you've still got to be on the lookout, craziness out in the dirt street stocks from time to time and this was another wild one. Oh, diving under the 10 and the 2. Keeping the car clean and rolling on. The 11, he is struggling after that first lap incident. He definitely seems to be a checkers or records type of individual. Get by him, he's going to have to go in and get repaired once again. And I just keep working it, and through the attrition, am able to come away with nearly finishing in the top five. I really think it could have been better. I think I could have ran with the leaders, maybe even had a shot to win. But there's no way to know now with what did transpire being sandwiched on the backstretch. Not even completing lap one. Then getting rear-ended, side-ended, just plowed through by the 11. But hey, that happens. Am I mad? No. I'm having fun. Electronic racing, my life wasn't in jeopardy. I didn't spend a whole bunch of money to try to fix a race car. Cool by me. By the way, folks, Hero Soap Company, promo code MMR will get you 10% off on all natural essential oils infused soap that is made by vet veterans and those veterans give back to veterans groups out of the proceeds portion to help veterans in many different capacities so check out hero soap company you will thoroughly enjoy their soap i have for a while now thank you for watching i'm the monday morning racer until next time god bless and keep the pedal to the metal and be sure to check all the other action on the channel such as iRacing, actual racing, and commentary on racing itself.